Hey YouTube, in this problem we're going to find a formula for the nth derivative of 1 over x. Let's go ahead and try to do this. So solution. So first I'll write down uh, the function as follows. To differentiate 1 over x, you want to think of it as 1 over x to the 1. And so you could bring it up so it becomes x to the negative 1. Right? Because there's a really a 1 here and you can bring it upstairs. Alright, so now we're going to take the first derivative. So first derivative this will correspond to n equals 1. Oh, and I guess if you want to be perfect, right, this, this is the zeroth derivative. So the original function corresponds to n equals 0. So when we take the derivative here, we use the power rule, right? You put the negative 1 in the front, so you get negative 1 times x to the negative 2. It's going to leave it like that. Now we're going to do it again, n equals 2. So f double prime of x so now we'll bring the 2 down, so you get negative 2 times negative 1. So you get 2 times 1, which is 2, times x to the negative 3. So you might say, why don't you just write 2? Well, I'm trying to look for a pattern. Typically, when you do problems like this, you look for patterns. So you leave things like unmultiplied, right? n equals 3. So let's look at f triple prime of x. So this time we'll bring down the negative 3, so it'll be negative 3 times 2 times 1, x to the negative 4. Let's do another one. The fourth derivative of x. Now I'll bring down the negative 4, so that'll give us a positive this time. So 4, 3, 2, 1, x to the negative 5. Right, I think we see a pattern. So this is when n is equal to 4. So the nth derivative, the claim is, the nth derivative of this function Let's carefully look at it. So first let's deal with the positives and negatives. So here it's positive, here it's negative, here it's positive, here it's negative, here it's positive. Okay, so it looks like when n is even, we get positive numbers, positive, positive, positive. When n is odd, we get negative, 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 and I guess the fifth one would be negative also because you, you would bring down the negative 5. So negative 1 to the n seems to be like an appropriate thing to put here. Right? Because if n is odd, you're going to get a negative 1. If n is even, you're going to get a positive 1. All of these, you can bring all of these downstairs, right? This is 1 over x. This is negative 1 times 1 over x squared. This is, uh, can come down and be x cubed. So you can write this as x, and you'll notice it's 1 higher. When n is 1, you get a 2. When n is 2, you get a 3. When n is 3, you get a 4. So it's going to be n plus 1. Even here, when n is 4, this will come downstairs and you'll get a 5. So it's 1 higher. 4 plus 1 is 5. What about the top piece? The top piece seems to be just a factorial, right? 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6. This is exactly 4 factorial. So this is going to be n factorial. And so that's the formula for the nth derivative of 1 over x. I hope this has been helpful in some way. That's it.